Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Glacial Geek Battle Report. I am Phil the Glacial Geek, coming to you here from Casa de Neil, where I'm about to fight a 2,000-point Tempest of War battle between my Death Watch with a Knight friend against Ian's Tyranids. So the reason you don't see anything out here right now is because we are going to be doing the Tempest of War. And the way the Tempest of War works is that you have to draw cards to figure out what happens with it. So... We are going to start with drawing our deployment zone. So we draw the deployment zone. It's going to be quarters there in the corners. So that should be interesting to have that going on there. We then draw a priority targets for primary mission. So it will be at the end of each player's command phase. Uh, during the second, third, fourth, and fifth battle rounds, we score five victory points if we control one or more objective markers, and if we control more than our opponents. And then we score at the end of the game an additional five victory points to a maximum of 20 uh, for each objective that we currently control at the end of the game. And then we draw a mission rule, Voxatic. In this mission, the command reroll stratagem, see the, the core book, costs two CP instead of one, so making it harder to use your CP there. So, interesting. So that's what we're going to be working with here uh, during this game. So we are now going to set up the board because it involves us just putting down objectives and setting up the board and making it look good for this. And then we will come back to you with the rest. All right, so we've set up the board now, ready to go. Uh, we are going to go over uh, deployment here. Um, or actually, you know what? Let's set the, let's set the tone. So basically, uh, this planet here, the story that we've got going on, is this planet uh, was uh, finding itself under the ravages of a, uh, a, tyranid, a tyranid invasion as the High Fleet descended upon it, uh, eating all of the, uh, the biomass on this planet, taking it all out and, and, and ravaging across the, uh, the planet. And the Death Watch were sent in to try to go uh, take them out, the Xenos hunters that they are, but they knew that they were going to have a lot on their hands to deal with and decided to try to call in some uh, heavy assistance. So a free blade Castellan happened to be operating in this sector uh, and the Inquisition uh, placed a request, uh, a, a forceful request as the Inquisition is known to do uh, and, and, and re uh, requesting the assistance of this free blade to help uh, take out this Xenos threat. Uh, and it just so happens that this knight had uh, his, uh, house, his household planet uh, where his uh, household was based uh, was also ravaged by the uh, the Tyranids, so he felt a, a bitter pang of, of, of anger against the Xenos and decided to join them in their purging of the aliens. So, uh, that's the story that we got going on. Let's point out where the objective, uh, where the objective markers are. So we've got, uh, we've got one right down over here. Uh, we've got one back over in his deployment zone over there. One dead center, one over here, and then one back in my deployment zone. Uh, so that is the story. That is where the objectives are. Let's show you the two armies that are going to be fighting it out. So for the Death Watch, I'll be running a Battalion Detachment and a Super Heavy Auxiliary Detachment. Leading off the Battalion Detachment, we have a Chaplain and with a Jump Pack. We have a Captain and we have Codicier Notorian. We have Kill Team Cassius. We have two Proteus Kill Teams, one 8-man and one 5-man. We have two Rhinos. We have a Corvus Blackstar. And last but not least, we have the Super Heavy Auxiliary Detachment of a Castellan. And for the Tyranids, he'll be running a Battalion Detachment and a Patrol Detachment. Leading off the Patrol Detachment, we have a Winged Hive Tyrant. We have a 10-man squad of Hormigants. We have a 3-man squad of Raveners. Then for the Battalion Detachment, we have a Neurothrope. We've got a Hive Tyrant, and we have a Tyranid Prime. We have four squads of warriors, one nine-man and three three-man. We have a three-man squad of Tyrant Guard. We have a three-man squad of Zoanthropes. We have a Maliceptor. And last but not least, we have two Horus Specs. All right, so let's go over deployments now. Over on this side, I have my Rhino. Inside that Rhino is my five-man Proteus kill team uh, in with uh, three Infernus Heavy uh, Bolters as well as a Frag Cannon. I also have Codicier Notorian inside there with him. Coming over here, we've got Big Boy Castellan right in the middle, getting ready to chomp up the middle and start shooting some Xenos up on this board. We've got an empty Rhino over on this side. We have my uh, Corvus Blackstar. Inside the Corvus Blackstar, we have my nine-man squad of, uh, 
of basically just veterans. They've got a lot of close combat weapons ready to punch some uh, Xenos in the face. We have my captain as well there, and we have my uh, chaplain with a jump pack who's inside of there. Uh, he is going to be my warlord going forward here. And then we have uh, kill team Cassius over on the, the left flank over here. Now, let's go over deployment for uh, the Tyranids. We've got a squad of three warriors here, as well as two other squads of three warriors there behind them. We've got a 10-man squad of Hormigons over on this side of the table. Uh, we've got his Zoanthropes over here, as well as the Neurothrope next to him. We've got the Ravagers here behind. We've got the Winged Hive Tyrant, as well as the Maliceptor over on this side. We got the big old block of nine warriors up in the front of this big old blob. We've got his uh, hive tyrant on foot over here in front of him, as well as the tyrant guard next to them. You may notice that the uh, the Horus Spexes are not on the table because my opponent is running Yormagander and spent the CP to put the two of them into deep strike reserve. So big old punchy tough eight models are ready to come and uh, ruin my day from Deep Strike. <laughs> so, we are now going to roll off to see who will go first. I rolled a two, my opponent rolled a two, so we will now roll again. <laughs> I rolled a two again, make it a four, so it will be the Tyranids here. We'll come back to you with their cards drawn. All right, so here we go, the cards being drawn. So the first one will be Bring It Down. I think the highest wounds is my Castellan. So you have to try to do that, which is gonna be very difficult. Uh, we've got the Defend Stronghold. Uh, so the secondary mission is achieved at the end of your opponent's next turn or at the end of the battle, whichever comes first. Secondary mission cannot be achieved during the first battle round. Oh, so you have to re uh, draw another one and we'll put the other one back. So yeah, draw, draw, uh, take that one out. So you can't draw that one on the first turn. So we're going to Area Denial, so you have to keep me out of the middle there, which will be perfect since I haven't gone here. Uh, oh no, cannot be achieved during the first battle round. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to have to shuffle these back in after we try after we do this. Deploy Teleport Homers. Unfortunately, you can draw this on the first one. So you have to do an action with an infantry in my, uh, I think in my deployment zone, if I'm not mistaken. Um, phase wholly within your opponent's deployment zone, yep. Yeah. So that's going to be difficult to do the first turn. And then we got overwhelming firepower, killing things with shooting. Uh, would you like to spend a CP to get rid of one of those and redraw? Go down to four, no. No, he's gonna stay, because he's got low on his uh, on his CP anyway, so he's not gonna spend it right now. So we will come back to you after movement phase for the Tyranids here on turn number one. All right, movement phase for the Tyranids here on turn number one. Pretty much everything's advancing. They got the, they got the, uh, the scent of blood and they're coming for it, so. Uh, his Flying High Tyrant advanced up over here onto the objective. Uh, his Ravagers advanced up here trying to get forward towards my deployment zone for next turn, hopefully to get some points there. Horus Specs also advanced up over here. Um, the uh, the Tyrant Guard and the Hive Tyrant back over here just kind of shuffled around a bit, I think, right? They just shuffled around. They didn't advance. Uh, I don't think these guys advanced either, did they? Or did oh, they just move? They did? They, they, advanced. they did advance as well. So we got the Neurothropes and the Zoanthrope. We got the Warriors advanced, the Warriors advanced, the Warriors advanced, and the Hormigons advanced as well. Oh no, they, uh, that's right, that's right. The, 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 the uh, Hormigons actually just moved because they didn't have to advance, which was good for them. And uh, the Tyranid Prime also advanced up to there to stay with his uh, dude bros. Uh, so that's gonna be it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the Psychic phase. All right, so starting off the Psychic phase now, his Flying Hive Tyrant is going to cast Onslaught onto himself, needing a six to go off. Uh, that will not go off on a four. Do you want to spend a CP? Yeah. All right, going to spend a CP to reroll it. Uh, ooh, not going to get it on a five. And now he is going to cast Smite, which will go into my Rhino over here. Uh, that will go off with an eight, so uh, D3 Mortal Wounds. Doing one Mortal Wound. And now the Maliceptor is going to do the Psychic Action to uh, reduce incoming shooting uh, by one, strength by one. So what do you need for this? I think it's uh, six. Six? Ooh, does not get it with a four. And now the Hive Tyrant over here is going to put Catalyst onto the Warriors over here, giving them a uh, Feel No Pain. Uh, that will go off on a six. 
All right, so now we're gonna move into the shooting phase. His warriors over here are going to fire into my Castellan Knight. I'm gonna spend two CP on rotating ion shields uh, to allow him to get a four up in vol save. So now we're gonna go with the death spitters first, right? These are gonna be hidden on fours because he advanced, but blowing up on sixes. So that's gonna be two additional hits there. So five hits. Uh, these are now strength five. five. So looking for fives to wound. Uh, getting two wounds here. These are AP. Uh, reroll roll, roll to one. Oh, reroll wounds roll uh, wound rolls of one. Uh, so that's going to be um, three. These are going to be uh, AP what? Minus two. Minus two. So we're looking for a four up in vol save because of rotate ion shields. Uh, failing two of them. What's the damage? One damage each. All right. So he's down to twenty eight because he's Quester uh, Mechanicus and gets plus two to his wounds. And now the Venom Cannon shots are going into him as well. D three shots. It's going to be one shot. Uh, hitting on a four, right? Because it's still, yeah. yep. Uh, no, no hit there. And then the other warrior squad in the back there, uh, behind them is gonna fire into my robot. Uh, so these are going to be the venom, no, not the venom cans. These are gonna be the uh, despiters, correct? So again, hitting on fours, exploding sixes. All right, so that's gonna be one, th three hits, but becomes four hits because of the exploding six there. And then these are going to be again, wounding on fives. Uh, getting one, uh, reroll ones to wound, right? Or is it not him? Not them? Yeah, no. No, okay, so it's just gonna be the one wound there then? Yeah. Uh, looking for a four up save. Uh, no, we're gonna fail that one, so he takes another wound down to 27. And then we have the Venom Cannon that's gonna be firing in over here, D3 shots. Again, one shot, looking for a four to hit. Uh, getting a hit, strength? Eight. Eight, so looking for four to wound. Uh, no, no wound there. Third squad of warriors back over there is gonna fire. Only the Venom Cannon's in range, so D3 shots. That's gonna be one shot. Uh, does get a hit though and explodes. Oh no, uh, yes, 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 yes. Does explode, so these are gonna be wounding on uh, fours. Reroll, oh no, not reroll ones. That's gonna be the one there. Four up in vol save. Uh, he's good, woo! And now the Prime back there is gonna fire. He does not get the Exploding Sixes because it's uh Oh, I, I don't even think I mentioned it. He get, the re reason he's getting the Exploding Sixes is because of the synaptic imperative uh, that allows uh, within 24 inches. So he's not within 24 inches. The other guys were within 24 inches. So this guy is going to be hitting on, um, he the did roll. not advance, oh, he did advance, but it's D3 shots, yeah. yes. The Venom Cat. So it's gonna be three shots, there we go. He he packed the uh, the biomass for this one. Uh, hitting on fours, because he did advance. He hits on twos. Oh, hits on twos, which become threes, three, but. but still nothing there. And now the big squad is gonna fire into him as well. Uh, so we're gonna have six death spitters, and then we're gonna have three venom cannons out of the nine uh, that are going to be firing uh, into him over there. So uh, we are going with the uh, the death spitters first, right? So these are going to be uh, hitting on fours because they moved, uh, exploding Eight. sixes. Plus one to hit from the high parent. Oh, plus one to hit from the high parent. So they're looking for threes to uh, threes to hit because of advancing and getting the plus one there. Um, and then sixes explode uh, for them because they're within range for that. All right, we'll come back to you with that. Uh, Rerolling ones because of the hive tyrant. They gave him that ability at the beginning there. Gave him the buff. Uh, okay, that's gonna be uh, two additional hits there. And then he has two sixes here, which means that the other two hits, so basically uh, he gets a full house. And then these are strength um, five. So looking for fives to uh, wound here against my Knight Castellan. Rerolling ones. Rerolling ones. All right, so because of the, the, the Tyranid Prime. All right, we'll come back to that. So that's gonna be five wounds over here, looking for four ups because of rotating ion shields. Uh, failing three of them, so I take three wounds. Then we got three venom cannons coming in over here. So three D3 shots. That is gonna be one, two, three shots, there we go. Only the, only the uh, Tyranid Prime apparently packed the biomass for these. Uh, hitting on uh, threes, again, because of plus one, minus one. Rerolling ones. Re ones. All right, so no reroll on there, and no sixes to explode, so that's two hits. Looking for fours to wound because of being strength eight. Uh, that's gonna be one wound there. Four up, invul save. He's good. Hive Tyrant back here has a, what does he have, a Stranglethorn cannon? A Balethorn cannon. Balethorn cannon. Uh, he is going to fire again into my big stompy robot. Uh, so he's gonna have D3 plus three shots. So that's gonna be, ooh, a total of six shots. This is gonna be pretty nice here. Uh, looking for twos to hit? Yes. Yes. Okay, that's gonna be all hits. Strength? 10. 
10. So looking for threes to wound. Okay, that's going to be six wounds. Ooh, that is real good over there. Uh, so I'm going to have six. I imagine four up invul saves would be the best that I'm going to go for here. Uh, looking for four up saves. Failing one, two, three of them, which is very statistical. What's the damage on these? Three each. So he takes nine damage. Killer. And that will be it for the Tyranid turn here on turn number one. Uh, my opponent did not score any of the secondary cards there, but he's going to get rid of Overwhelming Firepower, and he's going to get rid of uh, Deploy Teleporter Homer. So we will come back to you after the movement phase for the Death Watch here on turn number one. All right, I'm actually going to draw my cards here. Um, so we are going to have uh, Secure No Man's Land. If you have one... Uh, uh, secondary mission is achieved at the end of your turn if you control two or more objective markers in no man's land. All right, that's doable. I then have Battlefield Supremacy. Uh, secondary is achieved at the end of your turn if you control three or more objective markers and also control more objective markers than your opponent. And then my third one is going to be Investigate Sight. Uh, it's achieved when a unit from your army completes the Investigate Sight action. Uh, one unit from your army can start to perform this action at the end of your movement phase if it is wholly within six inches of the center of the battlefield. Uh, this action is completed at the end of your turn, provided the unit attempted is ho still wholly within six inches of the center of the battlefield, and there's no enemy units wholly within six inches of the center of the battlefield. Ooh, that's going to be tough. Um, I think I'm actually going to spend a CP to get rid of that one, because I think that's going to be a tough one for me to achieve there. Uh, so then I got Raise Banner. So uh, secondary mission generated when there are... Uh, um, oh, if, when, no. So I'm going to be doing it. I need an infantry unit to uh, perform an action on uh, an objective within no man's land. Uh, and then I score that at the end. All right, so doable. So let's see how these go. We'll come back to you after movement. All right, movement phase for the Death Watch here on turn number uh, one. I had my unit of the five-man squad over here disembark from the Rhino onto the objective over on this side, as did Codicier Notorian behind them. We then have my Rhino moving up over here, uh, staying out of range of his heroic intervention. Big Stompy Robot Boy moving up into the middle over here, angry and wanting to uh, do some uh, mayhem onto these guys over this way. My empty Rhino stayed back here on the objective. Over here, uh, Kill Team Cassius moved up into position over here, and they are going to do, because they are infantry, they are going to do the action for um, raise banners on this objective over here. So, that is going to be it. Oh, and then my Corvus Black Star uh, shot up the board over on this side, and when he went, he's going to drop a bomb onto his Hormigons over here. All right, so the way it works is I roll a dice for every model in that unit, maximum of 10, and for every six that I roll, it does a mortal wound. Looking for fill faces, uh, getting two fill faces. So that will be two mortal wounds, killing two of them Hormigons. All right, so uh, Codicier Notorian is going to give, um, is going to into the psychic phase here. I am in the shadow of the warp, so I'm going to have uh, plus one to the difficulty for all these. Uh, so he's going to put uh, Fortified with Contempt onto my kill team over here. So looking for a seven now because of the uh, shadows. Uh, that will go off with a seven. And then I'm going to cast Smite. Because why not? We're looking for a six. But he gets plus one on Witchfire, so it's actually going to be looking for a five again. Uh, that will go off on a six there. D3 mortal wounds. One mortal wound. I didn't even pause to let him try to deny the witch. So we'll deny the first one first. Deny yeah, one. going with the first one here. So it did get a seven, so you need to get an eight to deny it. Uh, that will deny it with a ten. And then the, uh, the smite here. So I needed, a, I got a six. So it was plus one, minus one, so I got the six. Uh, ooh, a five will not, so he will take that one mortal wound. And his warlord trade doesn't feel no pain, so let's see if it happens. Uh, no, on a one, he will take it. Moving into the shooting phase, this squad is going to fire into his uh, flying hive tyrant over here. We're gonna go with both profiles of the Infernus Heavy Bolters. We're gonna start with the Heavy Flamer portion. So 3d6 auto hits. That is going to be 9, 10, 11 auto hits. So that's going to be strength 5, T7, looking for 5s to wound. All right, I do not get one re-rolling 1s. I did stay in um, uh, in Xenos Hunters here, but uh, they are uh, fewer heal teams, so they get uh, full re-rolls against uh, troops since I chose that as my total 1. So that is just going to be the 1 <laughs> wound uh, into them over there. AP minus uh, two because of it being Devastator Doctrine. Four pinball. Four pinball. 
uh, he's going to make it and he's good to go there. Then we're going to go with the heavy bolter portion, hitting on fours because it's minus one for moving and shooting both. But you can only have a maximum of one, uh, minus one. So that is going to be three hits over here. Again, strength five. So looking for fives to wound. That is going to be one wound. Looking for uh, ones to, uh, looking for a five, four up invul save. Okay, he's good to go. All right, and then here comes the uh, frag cannons into him over here. Assault, so these are gonna be uh, hitting on uh, threes. That's gonna be two hits with the shells there. Uh, these are now going to be strength seven, so looking for fours to wound. That's gonna be no wounds. Now my Corvus Black Star is gonna fire everything into the Hormigons. So we're gonna go with the, the Black Star rocket launchers here. Uh, these are going to be uh, 2D3 shots that are coming in. Uh, looking for uh, 2D3 shots blast. So he's got more than five in there. So he's gonna have eight left. So he's gonna be minimum three. Uh, does not matter. So I'm gonna have four total shots into here. These are going to be whoop, hitting on threes. Uh, that is going to be two hits. Uh, these are troops, but it's reroll one to wound. So these are now going to be looking for um, uh, strength five, so threes to wound. That's going to be two wounds. AP minus uh, AP minus two, I believe. So, whoa. one second. All right, it's AP minus two, so uh, he is going to have uh, no save onto them over there. And then we have the twin assault cannon that's going to be firing over here. So. 12 shots hitting on threes. Okie dokie. And then these are going to be wounding on twos. Uh, these are going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight at AP minus two because of Devastator Doctrine. Uh, so they are dead. This big stompy robot time. He is going to fire and supercharge his plasma decimator into the big squad of warriors over here. I'm gonna fire my uh, melted guns into the front squad of warriors over here, and I'm going to fire the shoulder mounted cannons into uh, the uh, second squad of warriors over here. I'm then gonna put the uh, volcano lance into the uh, hive, uh, the, the tyrant guard back over here. So let's start with the plasma decimator. Like I said, I'm going to supercharge it, so it's gonna be heavy 2d6. But because I'm unremitting, I count them as being uh, twice as many models for uh, the cause of blast. So that is going to be the full 12 shots into them. These are going to be hitting on, um, looking for uh, threes to hit because they're within 12 inches. All right. Did he take mortals? And then uh, none of those were one, so he does not take mortals on that. Uh, and then he is going to be wounding strength nine, tough five, so looking for threes to wound. Those would have been bad. All right, so that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five at AP minus uh, four, um, three damage a piece. Uh, so they do have catalyst, so we're gonna have to come back here with that. All right, so we have to do it one at a time. So the first one, looking for sixes, right? Five. Five, so that's gonna be one dead guy. Number two uh, is gonna be alive with two wounds left. Number three, uh, one wound left, but still, uh, oh no, five, yeah, three, th uh, three wounds left. So do three damage, because it's the next shot. So the next shot's coming in. And he's got two wounds left, so this is gonna be the third shot. Oh no, but all three, yeah. Uh, and he will be dead. And then we've got uh, the fourth shot that's coming in here. Uh, guy's gonna be alive with two wounds left, and then the last one uh, is gonna be dead. So that's gonna be a total of one, two, three guys dead. Then we are going to go with the melted guns into that front squad over there. So these are gonna be, again, looking for threes. That's gonna be uh, three hits. Strength eight, so looking for threes to wound, right, tough five? Yes. Yeah, threes to wound. Uh, that is gonna be one wound. AP minus four, though, is gonna go through. D6 plus two, uh, a total of seven, or seven damage. So one of those guys is very dead. And then the Siege Breaker cannons into that back squad. They count as six models, which means it's a minimum of three, 2D6 each, 2D3 each. So that's gonna be three, four shots from the first one. And then uh, four shots from the second one. Hitting on threes. Okay, yeah, that was real good. Strength seven, so threes to wound. That is gonna be four wounds at AP um, minus one. So they're gonna be looking for five ups. Four. Four of them, yep, four or five ups. 
uh, make four or five up. So I'm making uh, one of them. So that's gonna be three that go through. The damage is two damage a piece. Uh, so that will kill one guy and leave one on one wound. And now the Volcano Lance is gonna fire into the Tyrant Guard back over here. Uh, it's heavy D3 shots, uh, but because they count as six, it's a minimum three shots since it is blast. So these are gonna be hitting on fours though because they're minus one to hit since they are over 12 inches away. Uh, getting two hits. These are strength 16, so uh, T6, so definitely twos to wound. Uh, that is going to be two wounds at AP, like a whole lot. AP minus five. Okay, so I got a two up save, goes to a one up because I'm in cover. All right, so uh, two up save because, and then they're in cover, so it becomes a one up save. So there's going to be two six up saves. Uh, no, not making either of them. It's a minimum. It's like six. It's eight plus D6 each. So that's going to kill uh, two of those guys straight up. And then I'm going to roll my dice because why not Storm Bolter into his uh, dude bro over here. Uh, that is going to be two hits. Uh, no wounds. All right, and that's going to be it for the Death Watch here on turn number one. Um, I did score all three of my objectives, which is pretty sweet. So that jumps me up uh, on the points there. So we'll come back to you after movement phase or the, with the cards drawn for uh, the Tyranids here on turn number two. All right, so now we are going to draw the cards here for the um, for the Tyranids. So he's gonna have two cards you can draw. Number one is gonna be grind them down. Uh, so at the end of your opponent's next turn, uh, team tally of both players, add one to each player's uh, attrition tally each time a unit from their opponent's army is destroyed. So killing units, uh, we gotta be competing against that. And then he also got capture enemy outposts. Secondary is achieved at the end of your turn if you, uh, if you control the objective marker in your opponent's deployment zone. So it's gonna be tough. Uh, do you wanna spend a CP to get rid of one of those? No, I'm gonna keep them both. So here we go, we'll come back to you after movement phase for the Tyranids. All right, movement phase for the Tyranids here on turn number two. His Ravagers over on this side uh, coming up looking at my, probably my uh, the kill team over this side instead of just the, uh, the Rhino over that side. Uh, over here, his Maliceptor advanced up next to his uh, Swarm Lord, who moved up a bit over this way. Hive Tyrant, not Swarm Lord, Hive Tyrant. And the one remaining um, Tyrant Guard moved along with him, protecting him. We've got the uh, Warriors that moved up around this side as well, as did the Flying Hive Tyrant advanced, right? Advanced over here to his position on this side. We got the Neurothropes and the Zoanthrope moving up over this way, as did the Warriors, as did... Uh, this squad of warriors over here looking on my big stompy robot friend uh, His other warriors are moving over this way Probably to try to get a charge off on or shooting into my kill team Cassius uh, and then out of deep strike in come the um, Oh, what are they called? Horus Spexes dropping in over here I did a pretty good job of keeping him from being able to get in behind me Which is good because that could have been a real trouble there. So Coming in over here, hot, trying to kill kill team Cassius. So that's going to be it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the psychic phase. Into the psychic phase, his hive tyrant is going to cast onslaught onto himself. So looking for a six. Uh, does not go off on a four. Are you going to spend a reroll? That's two CP. Remember because of uh, the Vox static. Yeah, that's fine. All right, going to spend the two CP. Uh, does go off with a nine. So there you go. And he's out of range for my denial. And then he is going to cast Smite into my Corvus Black Star over there. Uh, that will go off with an eight, so D3 mortal wounds. Three mortal wounds, there you go. And now the Maliceptor over here, who is gonna be casting on 3D6, because he was given that ability with the Zoanthrope? Northrop. Northrop. Um, and he is gonna be rolling 3D6, taking the two highest, right? Or is it, yes, taking the two highest. He's gonna be doing Psychic Scream into my um, Corvus Black Star over there. Uh, okay, no, three is not going to get you on any of those there. Okay. Um, and then does he have anything else? Smite. And then smite. And 3d6, taking the two highest. Or taking the two I guess he wants, which he's going to take there for the 10. Uh, so three D, uh, d3 mortal wounds. Three mortal wounds again. Ooh, the smites are coming hard. And then because he passed that one, he's actually going to also give three mortal wounds to him as well. So a total of six mortal wounds put me down to five wounds left. 
And now the Hive Tyrant is going to cast uh, Catalyst onto the Warriors over here, giving them a Feel No Pain. Uh, does not go off on a five? No. And now the Hive Tyrant is going to cast Lurky Maw, and he's going to bounce it with the Synaptic Abilities all the way through these Warriors into my uh, Kill Team Cassius on this side over here. Uh, so what do you need for this to go off? Seven, Seven to go off. Uh, that will go off on an eight. And what's the what's the uh, what's this do? Uh, plus one AP against them. Plus one AP against them. Really good. All right. So now his uh, the neurothropes over here are going to cast what is it again? Neural parasite. Neural parasite. Neural parasite into my guys over on this side. Uh, so what do you need to go off? A seven. A seven. So they get three d six to cast, and they get plus uh, three to this. So it's going to be a nine total there. I'm going to let that one go. So you're going to have uh, five dice that you're rolling here now. Looking for uh, fives or sixes. So they have to get higher than my mor the thing. Getting one. So one mortal wound. One of those guys will be wounded over there. Because you did uh, uh, deny my feel no pain. And now they are going to smite. Oh, it's the Neurothorpe. Oh, the Neurothorpe is going to smite? Yeah. All right, the Neurothorpe is going to smite. So it's just going to be looking for a uh, seven at this point. Because this is the third, uh, the third smite. Uh, that he's been giving off here. Uh, does he get any pluses to his cast? Uh, he gets plus one. Plus one to his cast. So actually looking for a six on the dice. Uh, that will not go off on a four. And then over here, we're gonna go with Death Spitters into my guys in the shooting phase. So they did not advance. So these are just going to be hitting on threes, correct? So, so it's gonna be three looking for uh, threes to hit. Uh, into over here. Okay. So it's gonna be uh, two misses there. And then these are gonna be strength five. Five, so looking for threes to wound. Okay, so that's gonna be four, five wounds into them over there. Uh, AP minus two, uh, minus or plus one basically for armor of contempt. And then I'll take it on the guy that's, um, the guy that's gonna be in cover there. He's gonna have one wound on him so far because of the mortal wound. Uh, so it's gonna be looking for a three up save for this one, so I gotta do one at a time. Uh, nope, so he will be dead. And then we've got, uh, what is it, four other ones that went through uh, looking for AP minus one, so four up saves on them. Uh, failing two of those, what's the damage? One, so that's gonna be another guy dead. All right, these two guys over here, these warriors are gonna uh, use shard lure, which is one CP, which will give uh, 3d6 on the charge, correct? Yes. Uh, to any unit that charges, and they are going to fire into my uh, kill team Cassius over on this side. So, uh, we are going to have, uh, so it's going to be, they've got the two Death Spitters, or is one of them the Venom Cannon? It's just Death Spitters? It's going to be Death Spitters. Death Spitters over there. So we've got uh, uh, Death Spitters, so it's going to be uh, six shots coming in from them? Just three. Oh, one three. Oh, one of them is the Venom Cannon. So we got Death Spitters and then the Venom Cannon. Yeah. So the Venom Cannon is going to go in. Oh, the Venom Cannon is going into my uh, Knight Castellan. So Death Spitters, uh, they're gonna get two hits. These are gonna be strength five. Five, so looking for threes to wound. That is gonna be two wounds, AP. Minus two. Minus two, I'm gonna put it on the uh, Terminator in uh, cover over there, so he's gonna have two up saves. And I failed one of those, so he'll take one wound. And then the Venom Cannon firing into my Castellan over here. So D3 shots, one shot. That is a hit. Strength eight, so four to wound, no, no wound there. And then the back squad over there is gonna fire everything into my knights. So we're gonna do the death spitters first. Uh, no, no hits there. And then D3 shots with the venom cannon. And that's gonna be three shots. No, no hits there, okay. All right, so now the other war, the big warrior squad is gonna fire everything into my castellan over here. So we're gonna go with the death spitters first. So there's gonna be uh, three of them. So nine shots coming in from them. Plus one to hit. Plus one to hit because they were given that reroll one. one. So it's going to be hitting on twos because they did not advance. Uh, rerolling ones. And then rerolling ones. And then rerolling ones to wound. All right, reroll that one. Okay, that's going to be all hits. These are going to be wounding on fives. Rerolling ones to wound. Reroll that one to wound. And those two fours are gone, three fours are gone. So that's gonna be four wounds over here. AP minus two. Uh, so gonna be two five up saves. Uh, making one of them, so that's gonna be three more damage. And now the Venom Cannon is gonna fire, hitting our D3 shots each. 
So there's going to be two, four, five, six, seven uh, shots that are coming in over here. These are going to be uh, hitting on threes. Two. So twos. Oh, that's right. Plus one to hit. I keep forgetting. Uh, nope, no need. Re rerolls needed. That's going to be all hits. And then these are going to be wounding on fours, rerolling ones. Reroll those ones. Wow. Wow, that is really good there. So that's going to be six total that are coming in over here. Five up invul saves. Uh, making three of them. So that's uh, two damage a piece. Yeah. So that's going to be additional six damage into him. Woof. And now the Hive Tyrant's going to fire uh, into my Castellan. So it's going to be D3 plus three shots. Oh, six shots again. He's really been packing in the, uh, the biomass over here. These are now going to be hitting on twos. All oh, but one hit. And then strength 10, right? So threes to wound. Uh, that is going to be four wounds. Looking for five up saves. Oh, nothing there. What's the damage on these? Three each. Three each. So he is dead. Um, I've got some decision making. All right, so I'm going to spend three CP to have him auto explode. Uh, because he is uh, the big boy there, it's three CP, but I also roll a D6, and on a four plus, it is the three D6 inches as opposed to the two D6 inches. So let's see. No, so it's just going to be the two D6 inches that it's going to explode into. Uh, just the three inches. Oh, no, I don't think that's going to hit. It maybe hit one unit? Oh, that was not great. Well, yep, it doesn't hit anybody three inches, so... Oof, big oof. Oh boy. All right. Well, I tried. And now the warrior's back over here, gonna fire into my Corvus uh, Black Star. Uh, he's minus one to hit because he is uh, supersonic up there, so he's gonna be hitting on fours. Okay. So it's gonna be three hits. Strength five, so five's to wound. No, no wounds there. And then the Venom Cannon comes, D three shots. Three shots, hitting on fours. Uh, getting three hits. There you go. That's how you do that. Strength, what is it? Eight. Eight. So looking for threes to wound. That is going to be three wounds. AP? Minus three. Minus three. All right. So minus two because he is uh, armor of contempt over there. So it's going to be looking for uh, five up saves. No, none of them there. What's the damage? Six total damage over there. So I believe he is dead. Uh, yeah, I've only got five wounds left. Does he explode? Yeah, with the filled face he does! Woo! All right, so that's gonna hit his Tyrant Guard, it's gonna hit his Warriors, and it's gonna hit his Flying Hive Tyrant. So we'll go with the Tyrant Guard first. So it's gonna be D6 Mortal Wounds. Doing four Mortal Wounds into them. Then into the Warriors over here. Gonna do five Mortal Wounds, which will kill one and put one on one wound left. And the Flying Hive Tyrant is gonna take four Mortal Wounds. Killer. And then we have Feel No Pains on the, uh, the Flying Hive Tyrant over there. Uh, so we'll just put him over here looking for um, four of them fives. Uh, it takes three of them. And then I have 11 models inside there. Let's see if any of them twist ankles getting out of this. Uh, one, one will. So one will be dead. And that's going to be it for the shooting phase into the charge phase. His ravagers are going to go into uh, my uh, squad over here. I'm going to spend a CP to overwatch. So we're going to go with the heavy flamers first. 2d6 uh, auto hits here. That's gonna be eight auto hits. They are tough five, so looking for fours to wound. Alrighty, uh, they are not troop choices, so I don't get to reroll ones against them. Uh, so that is going to be one, two, three, at AP minus uh, one. Okay, five up in. Five up in, we'll save. AP minus one, yeah, so it's gonna be three five ups. Hold on, they're not in. One second. In, uh Yep, AP minus one. They don't have the invul save that went off of the synaptic comparative, but it's still just minus one, so it puts them at four, uh, five ups. Uh, nope, that's going to be three damage. That's going to kill a guy, right? And then heavy bolter shots. Uh, getting one of those. Again, four to wound. No, no wound there. And then bolter shots from the uh, sergeant. That's going to be no hits there. So now you can make your charge, sir. They are in for sure. And now his five high tyrant is going to charge into my dude bros over here. Uh, it's a seven inch charge over there, but they get plus one to their charge. So they're going to be looking for a, um, a six inch charge. Oh, he's in with an 11. 
And now his regular hive tyrant on foot is going to charge in. Uh, he's just uh, under 12 inches away, so it would be an 11 inch charge. Uh, but because he is uh, gets the plus one because of the biomorph ad, not a no, biomorph adaptation. Yeah. What is it? Is it biomorph yeah. adaptation that he gave? He changed it out from the your your Megander one and gave everyone a plus one to charge. So he's going to be looking for a 10 inch charge to make it in here. Uh, does not make it with a five. And the warriors have an eight inch charge, which becomes a seven inch charge. Uh, they will be in with an 11. And then this horror specs over here is going to charge into my uh, kill team Cassius over here. Uh, so he is going to have an eight inch charge at a deep strike over here, but he's got 3d6 in which to make it um, because of, what was it again? Shard lure. Because of shard lure. So uh, here we go. I uh, will make it in there with a 10. There we go. And then same thing for this dude bro over here. Looking for an eight inch charge. Uh, we'll make it a 12 inch move. Oof, pretty good. And then the warriors over there are gonna charge in. They need a seven inch charge uh, on 3D6 to get in with the plus one. And they will be in with a 10. And when this guy made his charge, my opponent spent a CP on, um, trampling. on trampling charge. So it's gonna be on a four plus, or four to- Two to four. Two to four. Three. It's three mortal wounds. On a six, it's five plus. Five plus. Or five plus is a D3. five plus is D3. Plus three. D3 plus three. Uh, nope, on a two, so that's gonna be three mortal wounds, uh, which will kill one of my guys, and kill the Terminator over there, and then put one of the guys on one wound left. All right, so now we're gonna start in the fight phase with uh, his uh, Hive Tyrant over here. He's gonna spend his last CP on Adrenal Surge, giving him an additional D3 attacks, so he's gonna have five plus D3 attacks, plus one, so it's gonna be six total attacks that are gonna be coming in here. Uh, these are going to be uh, looking for Ah, uh, you got your dice over there. Uh, these are gonna be looking for twos to hit. All right, so that's gonna be all but one hit. And then these are going to be- uh, uh, He's got a um, lash whip. Oh, lash whip as well, but that, is that, what does the lash whip do? A reroll hit one. Or one. Reroll a hit roll? Of one. Of one. So that's gonna be a hit. Uh, so these are now going to be strength uh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 11, so it's gonna be looking for twos to wound. All right, so that's gonna be all wounds. So that's gonna be six wounds in here. All right, we'll come back to that. All right, so his, uh, because of those attacks, because they successfully wounded, I'm gonna be suffering six mortal wounds on my guys, which is uh, pretty brutal. Uh, so that's gonna be killing three guys at the end of this. But now I'm gonna put these uh, attacks, they're gonna be doing three damage a piece. They're AP minus four. So I'm gonna be looking for, uh, I'm gonna put them onto Storm Shield guys so that I've got four up saves. I got four of them in there. So looking for four ups. Uh, making two of them, so two of those guys will be dead. And then uh, making those ones. So that's going to be two guys with Storm Shields dead um, so far. And then we've got his Talons coming in over here. Twos. Twos to hit. That's going to be two hits. And strength eight. Strength eight, so twos to wound. That's going to be two wounds. Minus three. AP minus three. So we got to go on the guys that's uh, on the Storm Shields. What's the damage on these? One. One damage a piece. So looking for four ups. Um, no, filling both of them. So one damage a piece, so one guy is gonna be dead. All right, I'm gonna spend two CP to interrupt, and I'm gonna spend one CP on Death to the Alien, giving me plus one attack. Uh, so we're gonna go with uh, this squad, Kill Team Cassius. The four guys in the middle are gonna go against the Warriors, and then the four on the outsides are gonna go against his big boy on this side over here. Uh, so we are going to go with uh, the Watch Sergeant and the guy with the Combi Melta. They've just got their fists. It is the Assault Doctrine, so I will be getting uh, AP minus one on these. Uh, but they've got three attacks and two attacks each, plus one because they were charged, plus one for um, death to the alien. So these are going to be hitting on threes, re-rolling ones because we're in close combat with an alien. So re-rolling those ones. Okay, these are now going to be uh, strength four, toughness five. So looking for fives to wound, re-rolling ones because they are troops, and that's what I like. Oof. Okay, that's gonna be four wounds over here. Uh, these are going to be AP minus one because of it being the Assault Doctrine. Five so five up in bowls. Uh, making two of them, so it's gonna be two wounds into them over there. Then we're gonna go with the guy with the Chainsword over there. Uh, so he's gonna have one additional attack for the Chainsword. Hitting on threes. Wounding on fives. Uh, Rerolling ones, but that's just gonna be two at AP minus two. 
So you have your five ups. Uh, making one, failing one, so that's gonna be a dead guy so far. And then we've got the Vanguard Veteran with the two uh, lightning claws that are gonna go into him over there. These are gonna be hitting on threes. Rerolling ones, because I'm in close combat with an alien. Okay, not meant to be on those. Uh, these are going to be wounding on fives, rerolling because of lightning claws. Rerolling because of lightning claws. Uh, that is going to be two wounds at AP minus uh, three because of the assault doctrine. So he's going to have two five up saves. The warrior. The warrior. Uh, no, taking two damage. Then we have the veteran biker and uh, one veteran over here attacking with their power sword into big dude bro over here. These are going to be hitting on uh, threes. Okay, re-rolling ones because it's close combat with an alien. And then these are going to be wounding on strength plus one becomes five, so looking for fives to wound against them. Rear only ones because it is a heavy support and they are uh, a quilla kill team and I chose heavy support for that. So that's going to be four at AP minus four. Four pinballs. Four pinballs. Uh, making uh, one of them, so that's going to be three damage into him over here. Then my chainsword vanguard veteran is going to go. Hitting on threes. Wounding on sixes now because the chainsword does not give any plus one to wound. Uh, Rerolling ones, but nothing. So it's just going to be the one at AP minus two. So four up. Nope, taking a wound. And then one guy punching him with his fist because he's angry. That's going to be three hits. Uh, two wounds at AP minus one. So that's going to be two three ups. Hey, he punched him where he hurt, so he takes another wound. All right, so here we go. His uh, his Ravagers are gonna go into me over here. Uh, they're gonna have four attacks each, so it's gonna be 12 attacks coming in here, hitting on threes. All right, pretty good there. And then these are strength four. Uh, What's it? One five. second. Strength five? One. All right, it's actually gonna be strength six, because it's strength plus one. Strength five, base, strength plus one. So he's gonna be looking for threes to wound. Alrighty, so that's going to be uh, a lot of wounds there. Uh, it is AP minus four, which becomes AP minus three. So I will have six up saves. All right, so it's going to be nine six up saves. Some of them fill faces. No, not even close to enough. Uh, I got two, three, which is actually pretty good, but uh, still not enough to save me because that's, oh no, that's exactly what he needed, right? Yes, one, two, uh, three guys killing me to a man. All right, his warriors over here are now gonna attack into my guy. So we're gonna have, uh, what is it, four attacks each uh, because of it, or does it come back to? Three plus one. Three plus one for the extra uh, bone swords. So these are going to be uh, hitting on threes. Okay. Oh, terrible. Yeah, getting uh, three hits over here. These are now going to be wounding on strength seven. seven, strength seven. So these are gonna be looking for threes to wound. That is gonna be three wounds over here, AP. Minus two. Minus two, uh, which becomes minus one, so four up saves. Uh, making two of them, so one will take a wound. Ugh, two damage each, actually, so that's gonna kill that guy there. The warrior over here is now gonna attack. Hitting on threes. Okay, that's gonna be two hits. Wounding on um, threes. Oop, that's gonna be one wound. AP minus two because the bone swords, so it becomes AP minus one, four up. Ah, uh, good with that one. Actually, because of Lurking Maws, it was plus one to the AP there, so that actually kills that guy right there. <laughs> and now his two big boys over here are going to attack into Kill Team Cassius. Uh, they're gonna have 10 attacks uh, total between the two of them there because we're just gonna do it together. Uh, so these are gonna be hitting on threes. Okay. That is going to be a bunch of hits there. These are now strength what? Strength 14, so definitely twos to wound. Okay, that's gonna be all but two. What's the AP on these? Uh, it'll be minus three plus one, so minus four. Minus four total, which becomes minus three. So it's gonna be five, uh, six up saves. D3 plus three. D3 plus three, so it's just gonna kill my guys outright. So six up saves, fill faces! Uh, getting one of them, so that's gonna kill four of my guys. 
And now my sergeant over here is gonna attack into his flying hive tyrant. He's got a Xeno phase blade, so we're gonna have four attacks here because he's got three base plus one for being charged. Hitting on threes, rerolling ones from the captain over here. Uh, also, I guess, because he's Xeno, so it doesn't make a difference, really. Uh, so that is going to be two hits. Wounding on a five. That's going to be one wound. AP minus four. AP minus five. No invul saves allowed Three, for the Xeno's phase five, so damage. So it's going to go straight through. So it's just one damage. Feel the pain? No, he feels... All right, so now my Rhino's going to attack back over here. Three attacks, hitting on sixes. Oh, getting two hits. There we go. Here we go. That's two wounds. AP minus one because it's Salt Doctrine. Uh, four good five. Here we go. No. God, it kills the guy. He opened his flap and killed him. Got him. All right, so now we have some leadership tests to take. He lost eight guys from his squad, but I'm going to get leadership from the, 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 um, the chaplain over here. So I'm looking for a, uh, probably looking for a one or a two and he'll be okay. Nope, he is going to run away. And then I've got uh, these guys over here. They lost uh, six guys uh, this turn. So it's going to be six, um, but they're going to be minus an additional two uh, because of the horror specs over here. So instead of a nine, they've got a seven. So I need a one for them to stay. Nope, the opposite, Phil Face. And then there's two other guys that are going to be left over there. Um, one of them is going to run away. So I'm left with one guy left. Because of uh, being Space Marines is the only reason that he stayed there because they only ever suffer on ones. So, uh, rough time, rough time. But uh, they're going to stay on there. We're going to have one guy left. Uh, and that's going to be it. That was a uh, very painful turn. <laughs> losing the Knight, the Corvus. Uh, losing both, uh, all like almost all of my guys here. I've got, ugh, I've got two Rhinos and three characters. And I guess and one guy over here left. Well, let's see what happens with the uh, with the cards on my turn. We'll see what uh, what happens here. But my opponent um, did get bring it down, so we got the five points uh, for bring it down. Um, and uh, what was the other one that you got? Five points for um, no, did not capture enemy outpost. Um, this is the one in my deployment zone. Yeah, so did not get capture enemy uh, that uh, grind them down. He is uh, very much in the lead uh, right now uh, with that because it's at the end of my turn technically. Uh, but I think it went up to five now with that guy being dead. Um, so a brutal, brutal turn here so far. But he did score the five points for bring it down. Uh, did you want to get rid of capture enemy outpost? Yep, I'm going to get rid of capture enemy outpost. But I imagine you're going to keep ground him down because that's going well so far. Um, but you did get, and you did get uh, bring it down. So uh, that will bring him to a total of ten points so far because he did score five points for the primary. On my, at the beginning of my turn, I do control two objectives actually because I've got an obsec over here on this objective, so that's gonna get me, um, but it doesn't make a difference, I still only score the five points for, I do not control more than he does. Uh, so that's gonna be it for the Tyranid's turn here on turn two. We'll come back to you with the cards drawn for the Death Watch here on turn two. All right, so let's go with the card draw this turn. Hold the line. Um, I have to keep him six inches from my deployment zone. No enemy units within range of their own deployment zone within six inches. Uh, then we have a tempting target. So you have to choose a sec uh, a, a um, uh, an objective in no man's land that I have to control by the end of the turn. Going to choose the one in the middle over there. That's going to be nigh impossible to get. <laughs> and then we are going to go deploy teleport homers. Ugh. I guess technically I could because I do have characters over there that could do it. Um, for an action is infantry. Or has the objective secured and it's completed at the end of your turn. Otherwise, it's completed at the start of your next one. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Ah, uh, bit. I might be spending. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna. Outside of six, I don't think I'm gonna get either hold the line or tempting target. So I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna spend my one CP that I got to get rid of. Um, to get rid of uh, tempting target because I'm definitely not gonna get that one. And I drew blood and guts to kill things in the in the fight phase. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. All right, so that's gonna be it for the um, that's gonna be it for the what am I call it? Uh, the that's gonna be it for my uh, turn here or the cards here. We'll come back to you after the movement phase. All right, movement phase for the Death Watch over here. Uh, these guys stayed in combat, and the reason that there's more there that you realize is you probably already yelled at me in the uh, the comments below. But uh, Kill Team Cassius is un uh, is fearless. They're unflinching. They do not. They automatically pass all morale tests, so they are good to go with those guys over there. 
Over here, this guy stood still and did the action to uh, deploy help teleport homers. And my uh, chaplain warlord moved up here looking to do some business uh, up in here. And then over on this side, this rhino stayed on the objective. He scored me points there. And then Notoria moved up over this way, as did the rhino, to try to do some business over on this side. So that's going to be it for the movement phase. We'll go straight into the psychic phase over here. I'm going to start with smite into these ravagers over here. Uh, it will go off on a five. My opponent's going to try to deny that, so looking for a six. What'd you get? A five. It goes to a four because you're in shadows. Oh, I'm within shadows? Yeah. Oh, sorry, then I did not go off. Um, so uh, then we're just going to go straight into... Uh, I'm going to try to do fortified with contempt, giving myself a five up, feel no pain. Uh, that will go off with a seven, which becomes a six, because it's minus one to my cast there, so you need a seven to try to deny it. Uh, and you do. All right, so nothing there. Then we're going to go into shooting over here. My chaplain is going to shoot his Inferno Pistol into the Flying Hive Tyrant. Uh, that is a hit. That is a wound with a fill face. AP minus uh, four. So it's going to be looking for, um, yep, four of Invul. Oh, and he's good. Notorian's going to throw a crack grenade into these guys. That's a hit. That is not a wound. And then Storm Bolter's over here. Uh, that is going to be two hits. That is going to be uh, no wounds. They're tough five. These guys are going into the charge phase. They're both going to charge in. Notorian and then the Rhino. And now my Chaplain's just going to charge into the Warriors over here. He's going to be in with us. And now my Chaplain's going to start us off here into the Warriors. He's going to have five attacks uh, because of the charge here. Hitting on uh, threes. Or hitting on twos, I should say. Rerolling ones because his uh, Litany went off. So that's going to be all hits. Wounding on threes. That is going to be five wounds at AP minus ooh, one. Minus two, so it's going to be five up invul saves. Uh, failing three, which is two damage a piece there, so that's enough to kill them. And now my, uh, my uh, rhino is going to attack. That's going to be uh, all hits there, okay. Looking for fives to wound. Oh no, what's his strength? He's got a bunch, I think. Let's see if it makes a difference. Uh, will not. So just the one is going to be wounded. Oh, no. It's a... They're not troops choice. So that's just going to be the one. AP. Wound. AP minus one because it is a Five. assault doctrine. Nope. Takes a wound. And now Caduceus Notorian is going to attack here. Hitting on twos. That's going to be two ones. Rerolling ones uh, because it's uh, in fighting with uh, Xenos there. So that's going to be all hits. Uh, wounding on four. Strength plus one. Toughness five. Uh, that is going to be three wounds, and they're going to go straight through. So it's going to be uh, D3 damage apiece. So the first one is one, one, and two. So it's just going to kill the one guy there. All right, so now his guy over here is going to start us off attacking into um, Kill Team Cassius on the side. Hitting on threes, right? Yeah. All right, that's going to be three hits. Wounded on twos. Uh, that's going to be all wounds. AP, minus four. minus four, which becomes three, so sixes. Fill faces. Oh, and I make two of them. Still alive. All right, my guys over here are going to put all their attacks into the warrior over here. So we're going to go with the uh, lightning claws first. Uh, these are going to be hitting on threes, rerolling ones, because it's um, against uh, aliens in combat. That's going to be two wounds at AP minus three because of... Um, because of uh, Assault Doctrine. Five so it's three five up invuls, or two five up invuls, sorry. Uh, no, failing that, so he will be dead. And now his other big bug gets to attack back at me over here. So he's gonna have his five attacks hitting on threes. Okay, so it's gonna be three hits. Wounding on twos. That's gonna be two wounds. Looking for fill faces. Uh, no, nothing there, so that squad is dead. All right, so now his Ravager over here is going to uh, attack into character. the character over here, into Notorian. Hitting on threes. That's going to be uh, three hits. Uh, strength more than Plus four, nine. right? Yeah, so looking for threes. That's going to be three wounds. AP? Minus four. Minus four, which becomes minus three. So it's going to be three six-ups. Uh, no, failed them all. Three damage. Three damage. He's, uh, 
Three damage each? No, just three total. Oh, three total damage. So he's still alive. Yeah. All right, so that is going to be it for the Death Watch turn here on turn number two. I did score um, deploy teleport homers, uh, but I did not get... I only killed two units in combat. Uh, I was hoping that Notorian was going to be able to finish up this last guy over here because that would have got me blood and guts, which would have been great. Uh, my opponent did score grind them down because he does have more than me. Five to three. Um, and I think that is going to be it. I think I'm going to get rid of um, hold the line because he's just going to keep moving up on me over here. Uh, and that's going to be about it. So uh, we will come back to you with uh, the uh, cards drawn for the Tyranids here on turn number three. All right, so here comes the card draw for the Tyranids here on turn number three. Uh, no retreat, no surrender. So he cannot move away. If he's on an objective, he can't move away from it. Um, it cannot fail a morale test, which is not hard for him to do. And he has to, uh, units to started, you, you cannot fail a morale test. And you can't fall back uh, into that. So you can't fall back, which is interesting. Because uh, he's in get combat with Notorian back over there. Then we got Storm Hostile Objectives. So you control one or more objective markers that were controlled by your opponent at the start of your turn. Because I do control two. So I control the one in my uh, back line over here. And over there, I've got two units to his uh, two models to his one model. So I do control that one. So you can take either of those uh, to score it. Um, and then he has behind enemy lines. Uh, the secondary mission is achieved at the end of your turn if two or more any, uh, more units from your army, excluding aircraft, are wholly within your opponent's deployment zone. Possible? It might be tough, but we'll see. We'll see how it all plays out here. Uh, do you want to get rid of it? Anything with your one CP? Or are you going to keep your one CP for fun times? Um, can't re roll it. <laughs> there you go. Maybe. Why not? Yeah, we're going to get rid of. Which one are you going to get rid of? No retreat, no resender. Okay, he wants to keep moving on stuff, so there we go. He's going to get rid of that one, and he's going to get hold the line, which is uh, actually not as easy as the other one because I've got guys that are in his deployment zone right now. Uh, so he has to keep me six inches away from his deployment zone. All right, so that's going to be it for the Tyranids on card draw here. We will come back to you after their movement phase. All right, movement phase for the Tyranids here on turn number three. Uh, his Ravener uh, fell back out of com uh, combat over here. Uh, these Tyrian warriors moved into, so a bunch of them are touching the base there to get some shots off this way, as did, I think, the Tyrian Prime. These guys over here, his uh, Zoanthrope and the Neurothrope, or no, Neurothropes, Zoanthropes and Neurothrope, uh, <laughs> advanced over onto here. Uh, these warriors just moved up onto the objective over here, and his uh, Horuspex moved up over this way towards my characters, as did his Tive Tyrants and his Malice Scepter over on that side. This uh, Horuspex advanced up over this way towards my poor, 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 poor uh, Rhino Hain. Done nothing wrong this whole game over on this side. So that's going to be it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the psychic phase. So my opponent did uh, pop off his uh, synaptic imperatives, giving plus one to cast. Uh, and we're going to start off the psychic phase with his uh, zoanthropes, casting smite into my rhino here. So it's going to be uh, plus one for the, the synaptic imperative, plus three for being a squad of three or more. Um, and then uh, getting... Uh, on 3d6 because they were given that uh, ability by their neurothrope friend over there uh, Doing smite into my rhino there. So that is going to be six which becomes ten All right um, I'm just gonna let it go. So that's gonna be uh, D3 damage D3 mortal wounds I should say uh, Doing three mortal wounds killer and now the neurothrope is going to bounce onslaught through the warrior chain over here into his horror specs on this side over here. Uh, he gets plus one to uh, cat, and then plus an additional advice one. So it's gonna be a total of plus two. Uh, that will go off on a nine. I'm gonna try to deny that. So I need to roll a 10 or better to try to deny this. Nope, do not get it with a four. And then he's going to smite into the right over here. Uh, that will go off on a nine. Uh, so D3 mortal wounds. Uh, three mortal wounds, kill it. Mountainthrope is now going to Psychic Scream into my Chaplain over there. Yeah, may as well, why not? Uh, on a seven, which becomes an eight. So that does go off, right? Uh, five, so yeah. Seven, eight, yeah. And D3 mortal wounds. 
into two mortal wounds. And because it was seven or more, it actually does additional three mortal wounds. So between the, the five total, my chaplain is dead. Oof. And then he's going to try to smite into my uh, captain over there. So again, 3d6. Uh, six becomes a seven is not good because that's the, that's the, this is the third, right? It becomes a six. Oh no, this is the, this is the one, third two, one. Three. This is the third one. So seven does count because you get the plus one. It does go off there. So D three mortal wounds. Uh, it does one mortal wound, but that was not more than eight, right? Wasn't it? Was it? Seven. It was seven. So it's seven or more. Does the additional three. Yes. So it's four. That's just, I think, going to kill my guy. And then because it was seven or more on the success, it did an additional three mortal wounds into him. So he's down to one. And now his uh, flying hive tyrant is going to smite into my captain over here. Uh, that will, seven becomes eight. an eight. So that will go off, which is all you needed for the one there. He did. Now into the shooting phase. His horror specs is going to shoot into my uh, rhino over here. So what is it? Uh, it's one shot. One shot. Strength six. Strength six. Minus three. Okay. Three damage. Three damage. All right, here we go. And uh, he is uh, onslaughted, so he won't take the penalty. For uh, because he's got onslaught, he'll be uh, not taking the penalty here, so hitting on a three. Nope. No, no. Hive Tyrant is now going to fire into my Rhino over here, so it's D3 plus three shots. That's going to be five shots total. These are now going to be hitting on twos. Yep. That's going to be all but one hit. Strength ten. ten, so looking for threes to wound. That is going to be two wounds. AP? Minus three. AP minus three becomes minus two, so two five ups. I uh, failed both of them, so three each. three each. So he is dead. Does he explode? No, he does not. And now the tier did prime is going to fire into Notorian over here. D3. D3 shots because he's got a Venom Cannon. One shot. One, two. That is a hit. And on a two, I think. No, no wound. And now the warrior is going to fire. The three that are on the terrain with the Venom Cannons are going to fire into Notorian. The other three with the Death Spitters are going to fire into my Rhino over here. So the Venom Cannons, it's going to be two, four, five, six, seven shots coming in over here. These are now going to be hitting on um, plus one to hit. So twos to hit, right? Because of uh, the Tyranid Prime giving them the plus one to hit. The uh, High Tyrant. No, the High Tyrant was reroll ones. And I don't know if they were. The, was plus one to hit. Reroll plus one to hit, reroll ones. Okay, the so the hive tyrant. Okay, there we go. So yes, yeah, so it's going to be uh, plus one to hit from the tier uh, from the hive tyrant. So these are going to be hitting on twos. Okay, all but one hit. Reroll ones though because of uh, the ty hive tyrant. Okay, that's going to be all hits. Looking for strength ten. Uh, no, these strength are eight. eight. So twos to wounds still. That is going to be all wounds there. So that's going to be seven wounds that are going to be coming in here. AP minus three becomes AP minus two, so five up saves. Uh, no, he did it. He tried hard, but no, he is going to be dead. So two of them are in range of my Rhino over here, so we're going to have six shots coming from them. All right, that's going to be uh, one miss there. Rerolling ones, though. All hits. Strength five. Five, so five's to wound. Reroll uh, re one. All right, so that's going to be four wounds. Minus two. Minus two, minus one, four ups. Uh, making three of them, so I take one day. All right, that's it for shooting into the charge phase because he's onslaughted, he is going to charge. They get their plus one to charge. He needs an eight inch charge, so he needs seven on the dice to get in. Um, ooh, will not make it with that. So that will be the end of the Tyranid turn here. Ah, uh, that's going to be the end of the game because I've got one <laughs> wounded rhino left and that's going to be it. Uh, yeah, brutal game. Like I jumped out to a big lead with the points there. Uh, but by the t beginning of his turn, he had tied up the points, um, which was going to give him, uh, and then he was going to be able to get, uh, hold the line. He got hold the line on the end of his there for, that's going to be an additional five points. Uh, and then he had Storm Hostile Objective. He does control um, this one over here because he's still within three inches and con I controlled it at the beginning of the turn. So now he controls it. Uh, so that is going to be... Uh, going to be 35 points that he's going to have. I'm going to score five points on mine. And uh, let's be honest, I'm not going to score anything else really with, I imagine, with my Rhino here with the wounds here. So a brutal, brutal game. Well done for the Tyranids here. Um, but I hope you guys have all enjoyed this. I certainly have. I have been Phil, the Glacial Geek as always. My opponent's been Ian. And until next time, stay safe and have fun.